Hi, everyone. Let's take a look at number 17 on page 364. A mass of 5 kilograms is suspended by two strings, 24 centimeters and 32 centimeters long, from two points that are 40 centimeters apart and at the same level. Determine the tension in each of the strings. Step 1. Draw a diagram. If you read the uh, first sentence carefully, there are two points. Two points. And it's 40 centimeters apart. So write down 40 centimeters. Uh, there are two strings, 24 centimeters and 32 centimeters long. And again, there are two ways of drawing this. Some students will draw it like this. Others may draw it like that. It doesn't really matter. You just pick one of the two cases. So 24 centimeters and 32 centimeters. Now, before we keep going, there's a shortcut that you can think about once you've practiced enough. So I do want to share that in the corner. I'm not going to solve it like that, though. I still want to solve it imagining that you don't have all the experience yet. So if you think about a right angle triangle, something you did back in grade 9 academic math, the most basic triangle will be 3, 4, and 5, right? The 3, 4, 5 right angle triangle. And if you really think about the numbers, 24, 32, and 40, all you're doing is you're multiplying each side by 8, which would give you the 32, 24, and 40, respectively. So really, the shortcut is this is going to be a right angle triangle. But let's say you didn't know that, which is totally fine. We're going to go back and solve this step by step. So you can start with angle theta right here. And again, from grade 10 academic math, you did the cosine law. So cosine theta equals to 24 square plus 40 square minus 32 square divided by 2 times 24 times 40. And again, if you work this out, the angle is approximately 53.1 degrees. So when you go back, add this back in the diagram. And likewise, let's say you call this angle alpha. You can apply the sine law to find this angle. So sine alpha divided by 24 equals to sine of 53.1 degrees divided by 32. And again, if you work this out, alpha equals to 36.9. So even if you didn't know the shortcut by inspection, you can tell just by looking at these two numbers because 53.1 and 36.9, they add up to 90. They add up to 90. So you can go back and say, well, alpha is going to be 36.9 degrees, which means this is going to be a 90 degree angle. Now, again, if you go back to the first sentence, there's an object of 5 kilograms. So if you draw a line going down, that looks like that. Remember, anytime you're solving a tension problem, you point the arrows outward. And if you think about the weight of this object, Fg equals to mg. So the force of gravity is the mass of the object times the gravitational pull. And again, every textbook is a little bit different, but I'm going to use 9.8 for g. And again, some textbooks may use 9.81, 9.805, but I'm going to use 9.8. And technically, it's 9.8 times uh, newtons, or 9.8 newtons per kilograms. And again, when you work this out, this is going to be uh, 49 newtons. Okay, now, your goal is to find the tension in each of the strings. So we're going to go back and write down T1 and T2. T1 and T2. Now, when you draw this diagram, there are two ways of drawing this. And again, I'm only, only going to pick one of them. Uh, some students will draw a diagram that looks like that. Other students may pick the opposite, right? And it doesn't matter. It's the same diagram ultimately. So again, even though it's not drawn to scale, I want to make sure the numbers fit. So in the first case, if the diagram looks like that, what that means is you have to draw the arrows. So again, notice this is in 
equilibrium, which means if you add up to three vectors, it will add up to zero. If I pair these up, the first arrow is right here. So that's going to be 49 newtons. And if you look at the second vector, this one right here, this is basically T2. Now, let's include the angles. You know that the angle is 36.9. So if you draw a line going across, that's going to be 36.9 degrees. And again, from grade 9 PLTZ, parallel line theorem Z, this is also going to be 36.9 degrees. And of course, because it's a 90 degree angle, this is going to be 53.1 degrees. Last but not least, if you look at the remaining vector, T1 is going to be right here. So again, let's label this as T1. And if you go back to the angle, that's going to be 53.1 degrees. So 53.1 degrees. And of course, uh, this is going to be 36.9 degrees. And ex as uh, expected, this will add up to 90 degrees. So ideally, you can go through the sine law again. But since you know it's a right angle triangle, you can find T1 and T2 using either uh, sine or cosine, it's really up to you. So if you took sine of 36.9 degrees, that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. That's going to be T2 divided by 49. And when you work this out, T2 is going to be 39.2 newtons. Now likewise, if you want to find T1, Again, you could pick 53.1, you can pick 36.9, it, it, it doesn't really matter. So if you want to be consistent and you use 36.9 degrees again, cosine of 36.9 degrees equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. That's going to be T1 divided by 49. And when you work this out, T1 equals to 29.4 newtons. Of course, don't forget, Write down a final statement that I'll leave you to try on your own. And this is how you find T1 and T2. I hope this makes sense.